This is Think Tech Hawaii. Community matters here. Hello, and welcome to Think Tech Hawaii, Hawaii Food and Farmer Series. My name is Stephanie Mock, and I will be your host of today's show. Our series aims to work and speak to those who are helping to further our local agricultural scene here in Hawaii, whether we're talking to farmers or chefs, restaurants, or all those advocacy and partner organizations that help support farmers and agriculture behind the scenes. So just because you're not a farmer doesn't mean that you can't support local ag and help further it in our state. So today our show is titled Hawaii Farm Bureau, and we're going to be taking a look inside one of our um, good friend and good colleagues, Rochelle Lomosal from Hawaii Farm Bureau, and she's going to tell us a little bit more about their mission, about the work that they do on the ground and behind the scenes to help support our farmers, whether it's legislative advocacy, economic opportunities, educational, and so much more. So Hawaii Farm Bureau is a very close partner organization of my organization of Oahu Resource Conservation Development Council. And it's really necessary to have this network of partner collaborators and organizations that can support our farmers in a variety of ways, whether it's technical assistance on the ground in conservation, or whether it's economic opportunities and marketing classes to further local agriculture. So today I have a very good friend and colleague, Rochelle Lomasau of Hawaii Farm Bureau. And I'd like to go ahead and introduce her and thank her for joining us today. So thank you so much for joining us. Yeah, it's a pleasure to be here. All right, you don't have to be nervous. We're just going to talk a little <laughs> bit more about Hawaii Farm Bureau and yes. about you. Okay. So in local agriculture, as well as mainland agriculture, a lot of farmers are around 60 years old. That's yes. their average age in agriculture. Correct. And so I think it's really important that we meet young leaders and up-and-coming leaders like yourself that show all the work that you do to help support our farmers, both young, middle-aged, and older farmers, right? Yes. So I want to hear a little bit more about you as a person and how you became involved in local agriculture. So my great-grandparents uh, came to America as migrant plantation workers and um, my dad just recently acquired some land to farm as well and I found interest in what I could do um, for that industry with my degree. I graduated from UH Manoa with a political science degree and um, I want to see how I could contribute to agriculture, the future of it. So you have a long family history, it sounds like, and you want to continue that tradition yes. and see how you can bring your own skills to help our local farmers, yes, right? Absolutely. And so you were talking about you have a political science degree. Yes. So you don't hear a lot about that in agriculture. Most no. people think, I have an agriculture <laughs> degree, yeah, right? right. So, yeah. But it, it just goes to show you that agriculture is really an interdependent um, field. You, right. need, you need political scientists, mm -hmm. you need the farmers in the field, conservationists, and it's a whole big world out there. So yes. right now, you are now working with Hawaii Farm Bureau. Yes. So I thought you could give us um, a quick overview of what Hawaii Farm Bureau is, kind of like the 30-second snapshot, and then we'll talk more about the work that you do. Yeah, sure. So um, we are a advocacy nonprofit um, organization. We've been founded in 1948 with a group of farmers, but we've been incorporated into the state of Hawaii um, in 1950. So like, men like I mentioned earlier, um, tying in my political science degree, the our main um, mission for Hawaii Farm Bureau is um, to be the voice of agriculture okay. and to really um, push or to help our farmers continue to farm while we go and advocate for them at the um, state legislature. So you want the farmers to do what they do best and farm and be in the fields exactly. working and yes. processing their production and you want to be that voice for them yes. so that we can support them not only in the field but in our local political scene as well. Exactly. Yes. So you get to use your political science degree exactly. every day then yeah. <laughs> and support the farmers. Pretty much, yes. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. And so how long have you been with Farm Bureau then? So it's been a little over a year and I'm very excited to to see everything and just the future of um, our industry um, thus far that I've been a part of the Farm Bureau. Yeah. yeah. 
-hmm. So you, you were talking about your, this grassroots advocacy organization. Are, you know, is it just a board of directors? Do you have members? What, what, what is the makeup of this organization? Oh, yes. We're approximately um, made of 2,000 uh, members. Wow. We do have a board of directors, and we also um, have representatives from each uh, county. We have about 11 chapters currently, and um, of course, there's more. There's room for growth if we have more members. So, <laughs> and this is 2,000 members throughout Hawaii. Yes. Wow, yeah. fantastic. Mm -hmm. And you started in 1948, so you're almost 70 years old, basically. Yes. Yeah. Wow, and then yeah. you just continue to grow with more members every year. Yes, and sometimes every day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Every yeah. day. <laughs> so I thought we'd take a, a, a quick moment to check out a video that yeah. Farm Bureau produced just to kind of show, you know, the impact that they have in our, on our farmers in our state. Yeah, sure. All right, let's check it out. Yeah. <laughs> Hawaii's core is its country. Just 2% of the population growing everything, so you don't have to small farmers with big stories about their love for the land, their love for the work despite the hardships and risks, and their quiet pride in a job well done. Hawaii Agriculture, big, small, we support it all. Hawaii Farm Bureau, we're growing for you. So Hawaii Farm Bureau supports it all, that's what I you know, big agriculture, small agriculture, basically anyone who's farming here in Hawaii. So you have a very broad mandate with 2,000 members that you're working with, and I know that you're going to continue to grow, um, especially with the all the new emerging farmers that we hear with the diversified ag, especially with the plantations closing. So yes. that's very exciting. So, you know, you have these 2,000 members. I thought we could take a moment and pretend I'm not a member. I must admit I am a Hawaii Farm Bureau <laughs> member. Um, what? Why should I be a member of Hawaii Farm Bureau? If I'm someone who's mm -hmm. just kind of interested, mm -hmm. what are some benefits I could get from membership? Well, yeah, of course. Um, so other than just have giving you folks a, or farmers a voice at the state legislature um, and continuing to farm at their farms, we also provide um, member benefits. Uh, we currently exclusively have a member benefit with Aloha Air Cargo, which uh, gives them 20% off wow. their um, shipments inter islands. And um, we also have a Hawaiian airline discount um, for trans Pacific traveling. And uh, we also have um, discounts with Granger. So things that they can use it on their farms for their operations and um, we also currently have or well, we just acquired a contract with um, John Deere which will also provide discounts to our members as well Wow mm -hmm. so they get that you know they get that voice that lobbying voice that advocating voice but they also can get some discounts for inputs in their operations to mm -hmm. you know minimize those costs because as we know it, it is an extremely expensive business to be in and and so the opportunity to kind of minimize those costs and minimize risks ultimately so yes. that they can continue farming long term exactly yeah so you know you're talking about these discounts and stuff that you have what are some of the programs that Hawaii Farm Bureau does to not only support farmers, but also a larger population? Um, so we currently host uh, the Hawaii State Farm Fair every okay. year at Kualoa Ranch. This year, or this past July, was our sixth year being at the ranch. And uh, that's just kind of a way or a platform for us to share our agriculture industry with the community and uh, the public and a lot of our partners come out and they share uh, their resources and their and educate the public about what they do and uh, we also have uh, we also partner with the 4-H um, group and they bring out their animals that the kids bring their, out their animals that they raise throughout the year and they showcase them at the farm fair we also have a Kiki farm hands tent and um, where the public can come in and um, have a hands-on experience, basically, because Kiki Farm hands, right? <laughs> <laughs> on um, agriculture, like whether it be um, riding those little baby tractors mm -hmm. for the kids, 
seeing all the different equipment like rakes and hoes that are and the wheelbarrows that are used on farms and how they're used and we also um, get to practice um, milking a cow it's not necessarily a real cow but it's an <laughs> um, feature that they have on this fake cow that you are able to kind of go ahead and see like how hard it is or like you know how fun it is to to be in a farm and milking a cow and also um, we have a soggy hatchery that comes out and they show us or they showcase how chicks are being raised wow. yeah and so we have a bunch of stuff um, every July uh, our farm fair is basically one of our way of reaching out to our community and um, we also have for our farmers FISMA um, training which is basically for our the new regulation federal regulation that was brought down to um, food producers which is called the Food Modernization Act and um, we provide um, some funds so that our farmers can attend these training courses and learn more about uh, FISMA itself and how it's going to be implemented in the state of Hawaii. So yeah. you, pro you provide that legislative advocacy, but you also provide that educational opportunity for, you know, the, the community. You were talking about Farm Fair, which is extremely popular. I yes. think you mentioned it had 15,000 attendees this past July. Yes, yes. Oh my goodness, yeah. I can't even imagine planning yeah. that. 15,000 people in a weekend. Yeah. And, and then you also provide that educational opportunity for the Food Safety Modernization Act, mm -hmm. the FISMA. Mm -hmm. These things, these very real regulations that are going to affect our farms, not yes. only throughout the nation, but mm -hmm. especially here in Hawaii with our, you know, such a huge fruit production yes. area. So, exactly. Oh, that's fantastic. Mm -hmm. So. Um, I thought we could talk a little bit about, you, you know, we talked about the legislative advocacy, and I know that people can check out some of the initiatives that you helped get passed on your website, right? Yes. And, and can they voice what kind of legislation they're interested in on the website or by becoming a member? How, how can they get their voice better heard so that Farm Bureau can become that ultimate voice? Yeah, so um, if you're a farmer or if you're a friend of a farmer you know we do have a, a member um, membership opportunity for you folks to just continue our partnership with those that are in the industry and also supporting us and so um, and that way you know your voice and with all these collaborating um, efforts we can um, create a, a, a a larger impact at the state capitol and that way your voice will be heard mm -hmm. and i'm yeah. sure you update your members all the time of like we need your voice like, yes please yeah. provide support and mm -hmm. testimony of course yes oh that's fantastic so i thought once we come back from our messages we could talk a little bit about the future of hawaii farm bureau because i know we focus on you guys are almost 70 years old right yes. you have 2,000 members yes. and it's only going to continue to grow just with all the you know all the amazing programs that are out there to help support new farmers we have mm -hmm. go farm and all of the different educational opportunities that you guys i do with fisma and mm -hmm. i know you guys have a variety of other programs that you help support farmers yes. And I like the fact that you guys also want to inspire ag enthusiasts. So yes. for example, I'm not a farmer and yet I can still be a Hawaii Farm Bureau member yes. and keep up to date on legislation, yep. what action is needed and all those opportunities. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. All right. We're gonna be right back after these quick messages to speak more with Rochelle Lomasal of Hawaii Farm Bureau. Mm -hmm. um, we learned a little bit about her long family history in farming and we're gonna talk more about her future with Hawaii Farm Bureau and Hawaii Farm Bureau's mission and how that's going to really uh, work towards furthering our local agriculture here in Hawaii.
Welcome back. We've been speaking with Rochelle Lomasau of Hawaii Farm Bureau on today's episode titled Hawaii Farm Bureau. We're taking a look at this amazing grassroots advocacy organization that truly is the voice of agriculture here in Hawaii and how their programs and their advocacy efforts really support farmers but also the community and ag enthusiasts alike so we can create a better food system here in Hawaii by supporting farmers via economic means, educational or legislative means as well. We talked a little bit about the amazing farm fair that they had this past July with 15,000 participants to really involve the community and make the community aware that agriculture is really important, not only for our own sustainability efforts, um, but also in terms of just creating a, a vibrant food system, as well as building community, you know, getting to know your local farmers or understanding all the hard work that it takes to farm, whether it's livestock or orchards and everything in between. So today we're talking with Rochelle to learn a little bit more about why farmers um, should be part of Hawaii Farm Bureau or other advocacy farming organizations and what kind of opportunities are provided. So we talked a little bit about the economic, I would say, opportunities via discounts, you know, for inputs, for tractors and that kind of thing, as well as transportation and shipping costs. And we're going to talk a little bit about how Hawaii Farm Bureau is going to move in the future. So as ag is diversifying here in Hawaii, what is Hawaii Farm Bureau going to do to continue to support their farmers, but also continue to support all the other amazing ag measures that are going on? So thank you again for joining us, Rochelle. Yes, thank you. Yeah. So your organization is almost 70 years. Do you guys mm -hmm. have anything planned for your 70, 70th year next year? It's okay if you don't know yet. Yeah, we're <laughs> not quite too sure yet. <laughs> Even a yeah. bigger farm fair, 20,000 people, 25,000? That's usually our goal is to start early so we can attract a larger crowd. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and so, yeah, it's always in our goal. Oh, that's fantastic. So we talked a little bit about, you know, this Food Safety Modernization Act, this FISMA, the dreaded mm -hmm. FISMA that's coming. Right, right. Um, and it's a fear that all farmers, you know, in the United States are having, yeah. not just farmers in Hawaii. Mm -hmm. And so I thought you could talk a little bit more about how Hawaii Farm Bureau wants to continue those efforts in not only FISMA, but other educational opportunities. Yes, yeah, so like I mentioned earlier, we've been um, providing some training, course, training courses to our farmers throughout um, the state. And um, we'll continue to do that and also reach out to the next generation of farmers, mm -hmm. whether it be participating um, with our um, FSA groups and you know, giving them resources such as internships, whatever they may need, or to have a hands-on experience. That's something that we're um, looking more into to do and just be, I guess, participate, have a role in, in that. We already do, but we want to be there um, even more for them. So these educational opportunities for FISMA, could you give mm -hmm. a little bit more information? You know, is it a webinar? Is it a workshop? Oh, yeah. And is it just on Oahu or is it throughout Hawaii? Yeah, so it's statewide and it's a workshop that you have to attend and um, a certified person that um, is able to basically commence the course is is the one facilitating it and our farmers I in, in turn will be able to get some type of certification through that training course yeah Great. and so mm -hmm. you said it's statewide do you have any upcoming workshops our listeners may be interested in yes so in on Molokai we do have a workshop coming up sometime in September and you can view that on our website as well under events and so um, just be on a lookout for that, if you do live in, on Molokai or in, in Maui, or if you just want to fly in for like a day, um, please let us know as soon as possible, though, so <laughs> we can provide some type of funding for you if you are especially a member of Hawaii Farm Bureau. So you provide mm -hmm. kind of like these mini scholarships so yes, that they can get certification. Oh, yeah. wow. Mm -hmm. And so you said we can find that on your website under events. Do you also list mm -hmm. other Farm Bureau events or? Yes. We do. Um, so we have, when we normally have partnerships with um, certain groups, like ORC and D yours, yeah. <laughs> uh, we'll, we'll list um, the events um, on our calendar. Um, and so 
anything pertaining or related to agriculture, we will definitely post it if you just let us know and shoot us an email. Yeah. So the, even if you're not a member, you can still yep. check out that website, yes. see those yes. interesting courses and upcoming events that mm -hmm. you know Hawaii Farm Bureau hosts, but also supports as well yes. with its partner organizations. Mm -hmm. So we talked a little bit about the events calendar. And personally, my favorite is the Farm and Food magazine. I was hoping you could, for those who don't know Farm and Food, um, I thought you could talk a little bit about what am I even, what's Farm and Food, Farm and Food magazine. So it's just another platform for Hawaii Farm Bureau to kind of share like what our industry is like. We do stories from our local farmers, our local growers, and the issues that we face as um, an industry, whether it be a nursery or growing food, and we also have like a we show like history, um, hit, historical pictures of uh, just like, you know, like how farming was back then. And um, so it's a very resourceful magazine. Um, not only is it entertaining and has lots, lots of nice pictures. It has beautiful <laughs> photos. <laughs> but it's also very, it's a good educational piece as far as kind of um, wanting to know a little bit more about what is ag. And so it's, it's just really nice to be able to have that to share and communicate with that to others that don't really know about our industry. And mm -hmm. I, I really like that, you know, it's paper. Uh, you know, in this digital age, even though I love technology, you know, you're constantly getting email blasts or checking out websites. It's really nice to have just like this beautiful magazine to yeah. just kind of look through. <laughs> um, and she's not lying, there are beautiful photos yeah. in it, absolutely. And so how often does this magazine come out? So it's a quarterly magazine that you can actually subscribe through um, our publishing company, um, Pacific Basin. Uh, so they're the same company that um, publishes um, Hawaii Business Magazine, if you're not familiar with that. But uh, so Pacific Basin, um, and um, I believe it's a $20 um, annual or monthly subscription. <laughs> probably, probably. Yeah, we're not going to cite the price. Oh, we'll yeah. Check out the website for more information. Oh, yeah. yeah. But <laughs> it's, an it's an amazing publication, yeah. and I, I think it's a great tool. And you forgot to mention that if you become a member, oh, yes. you get the magazine, yeah. right? So you don't even Thank have you, to Seth. worry about that monthly <laughs> subscription, right? Just become yeah. a Farm Bureau, Hawaii Farm Bureau member, and yes. then it's automatic. Yes. And you can continue to just get this beautiful and informational tool yeah. in the mail sent straight to you. And yes. so. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> and thank you for being our member. Oh, yeah, of, course, of course. That's why I'm having you on. Yeah. I, I know what a great organization Hawaii Farm Bureau is. Mm -hmm. and, and the fact that you have 2,000 members and continue to grow every year just means that, and you're about to reach 70 years. Yeah. You know, it's a, it's a, a, a momentous occasion. So you yes. can actually uh, continue to grow. Because I, my hope is that every farmer joins a farming advocacy organizations, yes. you know, so that they don't get stressed out about having to advocate for themselves right. and farm and provide their family a livelihood. Right. You know, if we can diversify and separate all those mm -hmm. opportunities, then, you know, then we can have people like you mm -hmm. being the voice while they can farm and do what they do best. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Thank so, you for that. Yeah, so, and you also have an online newsletter. So, we do. I mean, you guys really can reach your members in a variety of ways, yes. paper, website, mm -hmm. farm fair in person, mm -hmm. and so, and then I thought we could talk a little bit more about your team, because oh, yeah. I know we focused on you today, <laughs> um, and I wish we could have the whole team with us, I know. but I thought you could maybe, you know, talk about your team and how you guys work together to, make, to fulfill Hawaii Farm Bureau's mission. So, um, aside from the State Farm Bureau, um, Brian Miyamoto, who is our executive director, um, he, you know, he manages all of just us <laughs> at the State Farm Bureau, <laughs> which is like of five um, full-time employees, myself included, our general manager for the uh, farmer's market, our community relations manager, uh, Megan Kono, and our admin assistant, um, Gladys Hino. And we also work closely with our county counterparts. They don't necessarily house full-time staffers. Mm -hmm. um, some of them are fortunate enough to have maybe one, but we do have a lot of volunteers. Oh, wow. And so a lot of them 
are, you know, are helpful people. Well, of course they're helpful people, but <laughs> they're the ones that really push for what we do. Okay. And they're the ones that, you know, get rally up the crowd so that we can continue to do what we do. So Kauai Farm Bureau, Maui Farm Bureau, Hilo Farm Bureau, Kona Farm Bureau, and um, the ones that are here in Oahu, South County, South Oahu County Farm Bureau, which you're a part of. Uh, yeah. Way to call me out. <laughs> <laughs> West Oahu County Farm Bureau and um, East County uh, Farm Bureau. So, you know, a lot of these are members that are part of these farm bureaus, like I mentioned, they are just volunteers and they're all just delegates that want to perpetuate our industry and just um, this career, you right. know, yeah. So we have a huge support chain, whether it's the farmers or you guys, the legislative advocates, or the volunteers that help support you guys, as well as the community who supports local agriculture in general. Yes. Well, I want to thank you so much. We're out of time today, but thank yeah. you so much for joining <laughs> us, Rochelle. I, I hope you. our audience has learned why Hawaii Farm Bureau is such an interesting and unique organization and how they really do support ag here in Hawaii. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. So again, I would like to thank our guest, Rochelle Lomosal from Hawaii Farm Bureau for joining us. And I want to thank you, the audience, for tuning in today. We hope you enjoyed today's show. If you're interested in learning more about Hawaii Farm Bureau, please check out hsbf.org where you can learn about upcoming events, how to become a member, and all the great work that they do at the legislature, but as well as with their farmers markets and how you can support local ag via farmers or becoming an advocate or becoming a volunteer. So we want to thank you again, and we'll see you next time on ThinkTech Hawaii's Hawaii Food and Farmer Series. Bye.